Hello there Virgo, welcome to your reading. Um, so this is a reading to see what's in store for you for the next seven days. As you can see, I have premeditated and shuffled out your readings to see what's in store for you. So far, there is a couple of energies you may be um, tuning with or being in connection with around this time. So the ones I can see is Cancer, Energy Signs, Libra and Aries. Okay then, so let's jump into your reading then. Let's see what's in store for you. So we have the first card, which is the Reverse Tower card. So you will be going under a personal transformation. Um, some of you may be going through some upheaval as well. There may be a spiritual awakening that you're going to be undergoing here as well. Um, it may be a little bit unsettling, but it is for your life purpose for you to learn some life lessons here as well. You may be clinging on to something that is not good for you. It could also be a person you may be clinging on to as well. Um, but you will learn a very valuable life lesson here. With the Ten Wands then, you are going to be taking on a lot of burdens. There is to be a lot of priorities and responsibilities. Even though it's going, we, going to weigh you down, it will make things um, more tougher for you. But what you are going to understand is it is only for temporary purposes. So you're willing to put in a lot of effort and hard work to accomplish goals and to reap the rewards later on um, some of you you may work extra work hours to save up for a holiday or um, or for other stuff that you want to um, save up for there is also um, some of you may be helping out a friend or family here as well um, and there is going to be some returning the favor back as well um, and get in, there is to be adding some responsibilities as well to your loved ones and um, they're going to deeply appreciate it at the end of it as well. Two of Pentacles then, you may be juggling up priorities and responsibilities. You may work in a busy office or you are a working parent. You may also have a multiple jobs to do and there's a lot of demands um, that has been thrown your way but you are managing to cope with them as of now. Um, but make sure you manage your time and your priorities carefully as well and make sure you be a bit patient and flexible and adaptable with your responsibilities and um, your family as well. With the chariot in reverse then, you may have a change of art or direction about something or someone. You may feel like you've lost hope or motivation and you feel as if like, you're not as committed as you once was to something or someone. There is to be some challenges that's going to be in your way and you may try to manage everything in your life. But in doing so, you may feel like you need to loosen your grip a little bit. Um, and let things um, run his own course. Knight of Cups then, there is someone that is very romantic that uses their intuition and their emotions that is coming in to you, that is very charming. They show a lot of compassion, they're down to earth and caring as well. They tend to wear their heart on their sleeve. There's a lot of needing some confidence to pursue moving forward here as well. And um, there's a lot of action that they are willing to come in and take. There is to be exploring um, your own passions and ideas as well. And making your own decisions based on how you feel. And this person is going to make some decisions on how they feel as well towards you or to a situation. With the Justice card, there is to be fairness and truth coming out. Um, either yours or a person that's around you at this time is going to have their actions being judged accordingly. Um, but you don't have anything to worry about. But if you haven't been called out or your person hasn't been called out yet, 
to um, be made up to own their own actions, then they will do so. Um, there is to be taking full responsibility for actions and to stand accountable for ensuing um, consequences. If you're to seek some justice, it will be served. You may be part of a legal case or court case. So there is a legal situation for some of you or documentation or involvement with the law, the police, um, something to do with the truth and the justice system that's to come out. With the reversed emperor, there is someone that is going to um, be a bit rigid and they are overusing their sense of power. They may have a lot of insecurities. This may be someone that has a lot of father resentments or issues as well. Um, I'm getting there is to be a need to commit to one's goals and there is a lot of struggles here as well. And if you're in a relationship, it may mean that you're unequal and um, both be with no balanced out tidy and is making you unhappy and your person. And um, but one of you may be a bit controlling and possessive or a bit overbearing that needs to be, you know, knocked down a peg or two, so to speak. With the King of Wands then, there is um, a strong, masculine, fiery energy that knows exactly what they want. They're very charismatic and focused, very determined, and they want to be part of whatever you're manifesting for some of you. Um, they're going to be there to help support you 100% of the way, if you want that, that is. Um... There is to be some long-term ideas and um, focusness that's coming in as well and that like what is wanted. There is to be impulsiveness and maturity coming in as well and either you or your person is going to know exactly what you want um, that is very future focused and driven. But what is needed is be careful, be mindful about the intentions and visions that is wanted. Um, because it will tend to be manifested as the days come across. With the Eight of Wands then, there is to be some struggles that will be resolved and giving you the sense of freedom. There is things that will uh, move a bit fast for you and around you in general, but um, you may feel a bit fearful about the unknown. But there is to be some determination on what you want and you will remove all your distractions and obstacles from around you and be very determined and concentrate on what you really want. And there is to be a completion and there is no steps. Sorry, there is no stopping getting what you want as well. And um, it will feel good at the end of it. There is to be um, some connection or some communication um, regarding love situation, date situation, some some type of situation that's coming in that's linked with arrows of love, so to speak. With the reverse nine of pentacles then, take some time to reflect on your own self-worth. Try and learn a new skill. Some of you may be charging higher prices or undercharging people um, or doing something free for someone, but there is that sense of knowing that you could have more money or wealth to do with whatever you're going to be doing at this time. Um, some of you, you're going to have your family around you a bit more around these um, couple of days that's coming in. Uh, there's a sense of like wanting to be around people um, and put other things to one side for a change. With the Knight of Swords then, either you or someone else is going to go on a mission. Um, they've got something on their mind and there is nothing that's going to stop them, so to speak. They are action driven. Um, they are willing to get something done and dusted, so to speak. There is to be action orientated and very motivated and willing to succeed and stop at nothing to pursue with their dreams and what they want to be spoken, they will get it out in the open. There is a lot of strength and determination here as well. 
um, and the need to want to dive in and not go planning things. Um, so just diving into a certain situation. Um, sometimes they tend to jump into a situation or you tend to jump into a situation um, too quickly without thinking and planning things first. But if you plan it, you know, prep things, then you can go a long way with that as well. Okay then Virgo, so that's what I have for you for the next seven days. Um, if you can resonate with it, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I see you again soon. Bye.